Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today we're gonna unbox this crucial M4 solid state drive. It's a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. It fits in a MacBook Pro. We're going to open it up. I'm gonna go rush off and back up all my data, clone it to this drive, and then I'm gonna show you how to install this drive. So let's uh, just take a look at the box here. This is the kit version. It actually comes with a data transfer cable, the software, and the solid state drive. And I'll put the link below in the description. I got it off of Amazon and it wasn't too incredibly horrid as far as price goes. So you guys definitely want to check it out. This is basically the box here. Nothing special going on with everything. We have the M4 and then we have the kit right there as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this open and we will check out the solid state drive before I teach you guys how to install it. And also uh, I got another treat for you coming in a video after this one. I'm going to show you how to replace your CD drive with a secondary hard drive inside of your MacBook Pro. So that will be another treat that is coming shortly after I do this video. So let's go ahead and check this out here. And inside of here you see that we have a, basically have a SATA to USB cable right here that will allow us to hook up the solid state drive to this side, plug this into our computer, and then we can actually clone the hard drive that's in our computer now over to this hard drive, or we can just transfer some data or whatnot. So let's go ahead and stick that back in here and I will show you the brains of the operation here. This is the solid state drive and you know, for the price, you really don't get much as far as packaging goes. Solid State Drive will add a ton of performance to your MacBook. People report boot times anywhere as low as 10 seconds. So that's always good and it'll increase the speed of your computer. You'll be able to have a noticeable speed difference. This is our Solid State Drive and it's in this package here. I'm not going to open it up just yet until I get ready to transfer the data. But as you can see here, we don't really get much. So I'm gonna go whiz off and transfer all my stuff over here. I'm gonna clone my hard drive over to this hard drive and we'll be good to go, you guys, and I'll show you how to install it. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and made a clone of my existing hard drive onto this solid state drive here. But let's go ahead and get in here and start installing this. Um, if you watch my RAM install videos, this is very, very similar. We have to start out by taking out all 10 of these screws around here. So what we're gonna do here first is I'm just gonna go around and unscrew all 10 of these screws. Remember guys, the back three right here, these are longer than the other ones, so make sure you remember where you took those from because they need to go in the same spot when you put them back in. So let's go ahead and unscrew this real quick. All right, now that we have all the screws out here, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and lift from the back like that, and you'll see it just kind of pop off. And here we can access the inside of our MacBook. And we're gonna focus on this area right here, you guys. So just pay attention, and I'm gonna zoom in, and we'll get going on putting this in. Um, before I do, though, this is a crucial 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Pretty inexpensive, actually. I think it's only like around 200 bucks. I would definitely go check it out. I'm putting the link in the description for you guys to go check that out there. If you're interested in getting a solid state drive and you like the results that I achieved from installing this one. So let's go ahead and get into the install. What we wanna do first after you've shut down your computer, make sure that you shut it down before you open all this stuff up. Please, just do me that favor. We want to remove the battery connector. Now this isn't necessary, but it may be important in case anything in the MacBook is still electrified right now. There could be electricity running through the circuits. We don't want anything to mess up. And it's really simple. This is the battery connector right here, and you can just pry up on it with your fingernails on the sides. Really, really easy. Be careful, because there's pins under there and they can break. And as you can see, we pull it off and just pull it away, just like that. That should be more than fine. Just make sure that it's not in a state where it can accidentally touch those pins. So once we got it pulled away a little bit, we can move on to the hard drive. Here we are with the hard drive. This is the Toshiba stock 500 gig model, like I was saying. Getting the hard drive out is not very difficult, actually. Uh, there's a couple screws right here on this lever that we want to take out and then we'll be able to pull this out. So let's just go ahead and unscrew those here and like I said there's just two of them right here on the side. Just unscrew them. All 
All right, now once you've removed this little bracket right here, uh, just put it in a safe spot next to what you're doing. And from here, we can actually just pull the hard drive out like that. As you see, it comes out very simple. And we have this long annoying cable attached to it. This is a very important cable attached here, so be sure you don't bend it too much and screw with it because um, you will totally mess up your uh, MacBook if you do. So you guys, we're just gonna go ahead and slowly wiggle this back and forth kinda, get it loose and pull it out. And as you can see there, it just slipped right out no problem, didn't take very much force, and we just pulled this out of the back of here, just like that. So as you would imagine, we're going to connect the new hard drive in this same exact spot right here. Put that down. Once we have this out of here, we want to go ahead and remove these screws. There's four of them on each side. These are little torque screws, so you're going to have to get a different bit than the one that you opened up your Mac with. And let's see here. I'm going to find one that fits in there. That should be just fine. So we got one that fits right in here. Put it on the screwdriver and we can get those taken out of there. These screws will actually hold the hard drive in place inside of the MacBook, so we gotta put them in the new one. Uh, just take them out and you can probably just set them, use your MacBook as a little tray down there. And don't be all grubby with your fingers all over this hard drive too, it can, it can totally mess it up. And obviously I hope that you would make sure you've have, you have backed up your data before attempting something like this, just in case something goes wrong. All right, so now that we got those Torx screws out, um, we can just go ahead and take this, set it aside. Uh, we do not need this anymore unless you're planning on using it for something else. I am actually going to use this in another video where actually we're gonna replace the optical drive in this MacBook with this hard drive. And as you would imagine, we wanna take those Torx screws and put them in the sides of this new drive right here. So repeat the same steps that we did to take them out and just put them back in the other drive. I'll spare you guys from watching that whole thing again. All right, you guys, so now that we have those Torx screws in on the sides there, we just wanna go ahead and plug this back in. So basically, we're gonna take the same cable that we took out of the other hard drive and plug it into that one. It's just like a puzzle, you guys. Fits perfect right in where it's supposed to go. Plug it in like that, make sure it's all attached and you didn't screw anything up, and we can set this back in there, just how we took it out, just like that. So now we have the solid state drive in there. We're gonna take this little lever that we took out earlier and put it back in here. So just kind of set it down there like that. Take off the bit that we used to take out the Torx screws and screw these back in. And this will hold the hard drive in place. And essentially, you guys, if everything went well, this is all we need to do. We obviously need to reconnect the battery connector, which I'm gonna do in a second here. All right, guys, to reconnect this battery connector right here, just be careful with it, and it, you know, it's got some pins there. I don't know if you can see those pins, but it obviously can break or bend or whatnot very, very easily. So be careful when you're putting that back on because you don't wanna bend your battery pins, and there you go. It's nice and on there, it's locked in. We're set to go. So now we can go ahead and boot this up and see if it works. All right, you guys, so as you can see here, everything's working fine. I got it installed and we have no issues whatsoever. Everything is pretty snappy and good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and do a disk write test and a boot test with this, which you can see in the disk write and boot test video. So thanks again guys for watching. Please click this button and subscribe. Meep, meep. And our Twitter link is here. Meep. Our Facebook link is here. Meep. And don't forget to screw back in all of your screws on the bottom of the MacBook. But if all goes well, this is what you'll end up with, a nice little solid state drive. Thanks again guys for watching, have a great day.